Hello guys, welcome to Doubtco. In this part 2 of the video, we will discuss Urdhav Tiryagyam, which translates as vertically and crosswise. In the first part, we discussed all from 9 and the last from 10, which can be used if one of the numbers multiplied is close to the particular base of 10, 100 or 1000 etc. If you haven't watched the first part, I strongly recommend that you watch it and then come back. The links are in the description. The method all from 9 and the last from 10 is a sub-method of the vertically and crosswise. We will start from the most basic example that is 234 into 4. We will multiply 4 into 4 which gives 16. We will put 6 and carry 1. Now we will multiply 4 and 3 to get 12. We will put 2 and carry 1. And at last we will multiply 4 and 2 to get 8. Now we will add all these to get to our answer of 936. This is the simplest type of calculation that we are taught in school. And this is the simplest form of multiplication by vertically and crosswise. And we are never taught the higher versions of vertically and crosswise. So we will see its higher versions now. To multiply three digit numbers, we will extend our previous idea to larger numbers. We will use this knitting pattern to remember the multiplication. Each dot represents a digit and the line joining the dots stand for digits to be multiplied. We can follow the pattern from left to right or from right to left and we will arrive at the same answer. So let us multiply 362 and 134. So first we multiply 3 into 1 which gives 3. Then we will do a crosswise multiplication of 3 into 3 and 6 into 1 and add them to get 15. We will put 5 and carry 1. Then we will multiply 3 into 4, 1 into 2 and 6 into 3 and add them to get 32. We will put 2 and carry over 3. Next we will multiply 6 into 4 and 3 into 2 and add them to get 30. We will put 0 and carry 3. 4 into 2 gives 8. So we put 8. Now we add all this to get 48508 which is our answer. For multiplying even larger numbers, we can use Dr. Pickle's knitting pattern. That is for 4 digit, we can use this pattern and we can go from left to right or from right to left depending on our convenience. So we will multiply 3142 and 5013. Each dot represents a number and the line joining them stands for the digits to be multiplied. So 3 into 5 gives 15. So we write 15. So this was our first pattern. Next we multiply 3 into 0 plus 1 into 5 to get 5. So we put 5. This was second pattern. In the third pattern we multiply 3 into 1, 1 into 0 and 4 into 5 and add them to get 23. We put 3 and carry over 2. Next we multiply 3 into 3, 1 into 1, 4 into 0 and 5 into 2 and add them to get 20. We put 0 and carry over 2. Next we will multiply 1 into 3, 4 into 1 and 2 into 0 to get 7. We put 7. Next we multiply 4 into 3 and 2 into 1 and add them to get 14. We put 4 and carry over 1. At last we will multiply 2 into 3 to get 6. So this was all our 7 patterns. We followed our knitting pattern from right to left. We could have followed it from left to right and still arrived at the same answer. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to my channel. Please comment on the comment section on what type of videos will you like to see more. It will help us a lot. Like the video and share the video with your friends.